The message to the people of the North Central is the fact that uh, we have uh, entered a one-chance government. And uh, I'm uh, pleading with them that uh, let us be very mindful from now and henceforth. We have always elected PDP before, and we have seen the benefits of electing PDP from 1999. Suddenly, when we were church, we were looking for greener pastures. This is where we have landed. Today, uh, Gary is selling for 1,000 naira a mudu, and uh, lots of other things have become out of reach of the poor person. Uh, so, the best we can do now, we are agrarian people. I just hope with our governor is doing a lot in terms of uh, providing fertilizer and inputs for agriculture. So uh, let us use our land and, and do some uh, real cultivating. But this government, uh, certainly, uh, is not uh, a government that uh, is going to help us much. And then the issue of uh, security, I'll ask everybody to be very mindful. It's not a one-person thing. Let us be very mindful and take care of, uh, be very careful where we go to and what we do. Thank you very much. Hello, wonderful followers and subscribers of Holy Ghost Sun. I want to especially welcome you to my platforms this morning. We are tell you the undiluted truth that has the ability, the capacity, and the capability to liberate Nigeria from bad governors. Guys, in this video, you just watched, you know, these are not turners, you know, they are crying that they've entered a one chance. They've entered a one chance government. They, in his words, we have always voted PDP. But now we thought we are going for greener pasture. I want to, I'm underlining that word. We thought we are going for greener pasture. Okay, firstly, I put it to them that the North put us in what we are today. The pain, the travails we are going through currently as Nigerians, the Northern has put us in. Let me prove it to you. Permit me to prove it to you. Please follow me closely. Firstly, firstly, when uh during election they selected you know uh what was it called uh muslim muslim ticket okay now this was not the character of nigeria we have federal character you understand if a muslim is the president a christian must be the vice if a christian is the president a muslim must be the vice this is how it has been but they not supported it why because of selfish interest and according to him they were looking for greener pasture greener pasture for them not only for the whole country now it backfire number two who rigged tinubu to power the person who rigged tinubu to power is mahmoud yakubu mahmoud yakubu is he from south is he from south south mahmoud yakubu is from the north mahmoud yakubu is from the north all right mahmoud yakubu the north now he rigged tinubu to power all right okay now uh so it's from it's from, it's from the north now guys i want you to understand something one thing i've always said in this life to have peace in future to have peace in life and have peace in future in anything you do you must at all time always learn try your best to speak the truth when it is necessary don't speak the truth only when it is convenient no even when it's not convenient, say, speak the truth because the Bible said the truth shall set you free. The, the truth you refuse to speak today can land you in bondage. That's just the truth. Okay, now, I want you to watch this next video now. You will see the speaker of House of Assembly where he was elogizing Tinubu, saying that they have support Tinubu. Okay, just watch this video. I'll be right back, okay? So far, so good, Your Excellency, the house is very supportive of you. The house loves you very well. There is hardly any decent voice in the house today and yesterday against you for any of your policies. The house is honored you, supportive of what you bring, and we shall continue to strive in ensuring that we operate as one, the executive and the legislator together. We want to ensure that whatever you bring, we see the light of the day, both in the House of Representatives and in the Senate. You can see an example of the acid taste of members' support and solidarity. Just within the last three, four days, about three bills came from the presidency, and they were all expected to be treated expeditiously. And the House 
and the Senate do not relate to excellency in ensuring that we deliver a miracle because what we did is just short of being called a miracle. So guys, you just heard the speaker of First Assembly. You've heard him here. Now this person speaking here, who is he? He's a northerner. All right. Now the House of Assembly, these guys, these are the people who are supposed to be do check and balance on the executive. To some extent, the executive so in in the same country, they're supposed to be you know very careful with you know these guys as for assembly. Okay, they're supposed to be very careful with them because the the constitution empower them to impeach the executive, to impeach the, the president, will call him to order. It empowers them. They have the power to summon him and, and the rest. But you can see now. For what he just did, what he just said now, is obvious. Is not there for the for our interest, for the interest of our collective interest of Nigeria or the North. It's not there. And later they will be crying. They are not crying. Uh, we have entered a one chance government. We thought we are going to you know uh, for greener pasture. Guys, are you understanding me now? He is saying there is no dissenting voice in the earth. No, no. There's supposed to be a dissenting voice supporting a leader a, the current leader at at the moment in everything he does good or bad supporting the leader is not a sign that you are, you are patriotic no it's just a sign that you know um you are there for your personal interest for your there for stomach infrastructure you understand that is it imagine what they saying they have support you they have to do this is this how uh how it works in, in in the western world in america place like america in the in the uk is, is that how it work during the other election of the i think year 2020 of donald trump and the, the Biden, did we see the how the ass of assembly you know they consistently you know uh call him to order but nigeria who dares that a, a speaker ready to become the house boy become the house boy of the go of, of, of the president or because of stomach infrastructure we have a problem the problem we have is that we don't have leaders in nigeria we as a people we don't have leaders who who are there for the people you understand who are passionate for the people they are there on their personal interest and they will serve their pay master this is a shame this is a slap so my please guys you must have to like this video so facebook and youtube can recommend you must have to share it why they have to see this video to let them know that this guy not them be the problem of themselves they are not them be the problem of niger guys when they talk sometimes i'm having pg you know i'm trying to be extremely and they try to make a code because of facebook you understand so yeah so now they, now they be our problem this guy is not be our problem now they be our confirmed problem now they be problem of niger now the person speaking here is not an Igbo person me i'm not an Igbo. don't forget that i'm confirmed beneath he's not an Igbo person he's not from the south south no this one i confirm not number one people voted you told in their greener pasture you understand okay number two the person who read tinubu to power was is a northerner house of assembly leader now if people are really pain he's not supposed to start speaking no all is well this and that this and that he has their battle about this is a shame it's a shame please like this video drop your comment please i will be reading at the comment section i may be wrong in my analysis please let me see your comments at the comment section what you think of this thanks and god bless you